What's up everybody? Welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. All right guys on the free to play account uh, I've been kicking ass and taking some names on this account. Let me tell you so if everyone's aware You've been watching me for quite some time This is a challenge account where I'm only using SR units and SR weapons I gotta let everybody know every single time just because uh, every, People are either shocked that I have no SR or SSRs or they're just like why the hell is this guy being crazy? So just so you guys are aware um, I think I've done something that a lot of people have struggled with and I want to show you guys the power of free to play if you play it right and if you are practicing as well as leveling up the right weapons using the right weapons etc right so i have um i have gone ahead and got to chapter 15 that's right i'm on chapter 15 right now uh with my free to play account uh a lot of folks didn't think this was going to be possible so here you guys go 150,000 power uh, sorry 150 yeah 150,000 power uh is what i'm going up against and i only just got here with a measly 89k or maybe even less right now on 92 because i actually just got a level up on there but you guys can see here now uh the odds are starting to become a little bit more stacked every single time i jump into a new stage i just unlocked blades as well too as my shadow so um this is more so the, the purpose of this account from day one was to do two things well i've said this many times already so i'm just going to repeat it because i know some people are watching for the first time the purpose was to test SR units and their validity with SR weapons, okay, so non-SSRs, non just to see how powerful these units can get and if they're viable, right? And we've learned a couple things, really very important things, actually. Uh, number one, yes, they are absolutely viable, and yes, these units can, in fact, kick ass, take names, and also take you to end game. And I think this is proof right now that it's absolutely doable with SR weapons and SR, SR uh, units, right? So there have been a lot of gems that people have ignored and i was hoping to show you guys that with a little bit of patience and understanding of the game mechanics and weapons uh it is very very viable now one thing i have been telling everybody from god knows how long probably i think i might have been the first person as a content creator to be talking about this is to get west wind up right and the reason why i've been telling people to get west wind up is because of this exact reason number one it does require you to have a wind weapon for the last stage or last chapter of this of this game right so in order to complete this you need a wind weapon the best wind weapon in the game right now i don't care what anybody says is not the demon longsword it is in fact the west wind sr weapon sniper rifle right so if you guys have this weapon you guys know already how much it cooks and how easy it is to destroy things with it so you should be praying to god that if you are starting brand new that you're not looking for that ssr demon longsword you are in fact looking for the sr weapon of choice which is going to be the west one now you want to get this duped up a few times you're going to need at least a one at the very least in the beginning to make it viable and then to make it even better and and end game worthy is a, the bare minimum is going to be s3 okay so make sure you guys are in fact doing that uh if you're not you're going to put yourself in a rut with this weapon and you're going to be like pain you lied you don't know what you're talking about blah 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 so make sure guys it is very important that you do in fact get the very minimum a1 to A3. If you get A4, A5, you're set for the entire game. You're, you're going to be like going through everything pretty quick, quickly uh, and, and not having much problems at all with this SR weapon, okay? So that's the first thing I want to talk about. Secondly, um, understanding the mechanics of the game, knowing what skills to use, understanding where you want to place your uh, positioning, knowing how to dodge, all of these things are very, very big parts of the game that are going to make a difference. Now, obviously, with where I'm at right now in this game, it's going to be a lot more difficult. Chapter 15 is meant to be a big time uh, crux for a lot of players, right? So keep that in mind. If you're like me and you are at this point in, this, in the game, uh, you with this little bit of a power, at this point, you probably are not going to get too far ahead, okay? And with my, uh, specific, specifically my account, right? Um, again, look at this. I'm actually doing pretty damn well here, taking them out quickly because of this weapon. So make sure, guys, you are, in fact, putting effort into getting this weapon up. Uh, and how do you put effort? I mean, obviously summoning summoning for it is RNG, but not melting it, it would be a good start. I know a lot of people who have actually melted theirs uh, and melted, but I, by melting, I mean uh, salvaging it, right? So just don't salvage it. Like that's the main thing. A lot of folks have been salvaging their, their weapons to get their SSR weapons up. Bad idea, guys. That's one of the worst things you could possibly do in this game. Never, ever, 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 ever get rid of your sr weapons okay if they're there i don't care how bad you think they are uh chances are you are going to probably use them at some point and you're going to regret not having it available to yourself uh i think this is doable guys we'll go back and try this again 
um, you're gonna regret not having it I promise you so that's a couple of different pieces of advice here now you guys can see here with 92k it is becoming a lot more difficult to advance in this I won't be able to finish chapter 15 with this little bit of power but the fact that I got the chapter 15 with only 89k was a feat in itself so make sure guys you are looking at the proper affinity proper levels etc and you guys are in fact focusing on playing the mechanics correctly so that is a lot of shadow dodging a lot of uh, like that right there Make sure you are focusing on the proper units to kill, etc. Right? Like right there, you want to kill that shield off. That's the first thing you should be doing. Forget the ads. Like you know they all have shields, and that shield will continue growing. So you gotta make sure you are doing the right things, the right moves, and taking care of business with the right weapons. Alright? So that's a couple things I wanted to just give you guys a little bit of a talk about because I know some folks have been watching my free-to-play account and they're fairly surprised at how far I've gotten and how I've done it. I just want to share with you guys how I've done it. I think that's an important part. Uh, and then the fact that you guys can in fact do it as well too is an important piece of the puzzle here. Uh, it's not just me being a good player or whatever the case may be. It's, it's the fact that you also have this capability in you to do this as well. So uh, just make sure guys, you guys try your best to get the proper weapons, proper setups. And remember, SSRs are great, but they're not everything in this game. And I think this account is starting to prove that. Uh, little by little and I'm hoping that people are you know this is opening people's eyes into what can be done with minimal resources and minimal account progression uh, and just being able to play the game smart all right so there you guys have it let me just try this one more time see if we can finish it we'll alt this up see if we can complete this if we if we fail again all I know is I got to go back and get a few better artifacts come back in here and just tear it up again okay let's kill that first Again, take out the shield first, okay? I think we've had actually a pretty good time here this time. Let's see if I can kill this off, guys. Mm -hmm. See, I kind of failed there a little bit. I should have done better. Yeah, let's see, guys. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, we, we kind of shaved a little bit of time off there. I think I, think I can do this. I might need... A couple better runs. That was a couple bad bad moves on my end there. Okay, first. Coming our guys over in a second. There you go, nice little dodge. Move out of the way. Don't get hit by that. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, I can definitely do this, guys. This is definitely doable. Just had a couple bad, couple bad hits there. Okay, well, we know we know this is doable. We're gonna die there. Um, Thirty-five health. I think I need to get in there by about a minute and thirty. And it should be should be doable. Outside of that, just a couple extra artifacts here and there to increase my damage, and we should be golden. But there you guys go. Just so everyone is aware, uh, this took 20, 20, 20, 22 days. I think it was twenty two days in login now in order to get this far uh, with only SR units and SR weapons. So absolutely doable. Uh, the main thing to obviously again focus on is get the proper SR elements. Westwind, uh, Orb of Avarice. Pretty much took me the entire way. And, oh, and Kasaka blades. Make, don't don't melt those, please. For the love of God, don't melt those. Uh, and the proper units, right? So a couple of easy units to use here. Uh, Jinho was a big one. He's free. You get a lot of dupes for free for it with him. Uh, Park was an easy one to have. I had some one copy of her. Nam was a great option. And then also uh, Hong Dong Silk is also another really good one. So those four units alone were enough to take me this far. Uh, you guys can see I have SSRs. I don't touch them. Uh, and same with the weapons, right? I have SSR weapons. I don't touch those either. So there you guys go. Uh, some people thought this was going to be impossible to get to. Clearly not. I'm going to make it a goal now on live to try to get through this whole thing with you guys uh, by the time I hit level 53, 54 if possible. All right, guys. The pain. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, free-to-play players. Keep your heads up. There's a lot you can do here with what you probably have in your, in your box. You just got to obviously be smart about gold management, which is a big part, and then understanding what units to use where and what weapons to use where. All right, guys. See you guys in the next one. Take care.